My name is Kayla Bell. And I am Brittany Fudge. Bienvenue. We are today's Masters of Ceremonies and members of next year's class of 2024. We are honored to be able to share this day with all of you. Rocky View Schools acknowledges and recognizes all the Indigenous peoples whose footprints have marked these lands for time immemorial. Together, we can learn and honor the ways of knowing of Indigenous peoples and all peoples for the future. Rocky View Schools reconnaît tous les peuples autochtones dont leur histoire et empreinte pas ont marqué ces terres depuis des temps immémoriaux. Ensemble, nous pouvons apprendre et honorer les façons de savoir des peuples autochtones et tous les peuples pour les générations futures. In accordance with City of Airdrie emergency procedures, please be aware that should the emergency alarm sound, you are required to exit the building through the nearest emergency exit and meet at one of the evacuation muster points. Please do not re-enter the building unless any unless authorized by the fire department. In case of any other emergency, Genesis staff will provide guidance and assistance. As we begin, we would like to welcome distinguished guests, family, friends, staff, those who are joining us through live stream, and all of those here to celebrate this accomplishment with us. And a special thank you to those who have traveled from afar to be here with us today. We would like to also thank all the volunteers who have been immensely helpful in preparing for today's ceremony, as well as the staff of the George McDougall Grad Committee. Without them, this ceremony would not have been possible. Please remain seated for the processional of the staff of George McDougall, followed by pomp and circumstance, and the processional of the graduating class of 2023.
stand for the singing of O Canada, performed by Peyton Lange. Before we continue, we'd like to acknowledge that all the art on display around the venue was created by our graduates. Upon the conclusion of the program, we encourage you to please take some time to view these wonderful pieces of art. Thank you to Ms. Wright for organizing the display for us this afternoon. Now at this point, we'd like to welcome Mr. Blake Richards, Member of Parliament, to bring greetings on behalf of the province of Alberta. Well, congratulations, graduates. Big day. Something major to celebrate here for sure. And, and you know, uh, the first of what I'm sure will be many successes for you in, in life. And it took a lot of hard work, a lot of determination, a lot of dedication, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears to, uh, to get to this day. And, and so congratulations. It's a, it's a success well earned. But it's also one that uh, I, I know you all know you needed some help with. Right? There was a lot of people who helped you along the way. And that's generally the case with, with success. You can't do it alone. It takes people being there behind you, being there to support you. And, and certainly, no doubt, first and foremost, amongst those supporters and, and the people that have been there for you all the way has been your parents. So if I can ask the parents, would you please stand for, for a moment if you can? So give them a big round of applause, grads. Now, parents, stay standing. I'll get you to stay standing. We're going to do a little something here with the graduates. So you're going to have to go along with me here, grads. On the count of three, we're going to say, I love you, mom and dad. All right? You got it? Okay, so you're, you're ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. I love you, mom and dad. All right, good job, grads. Parents, stay standing, though. I'm going to give you your exercise today here. Um, I want to ask all of the all the other family members who are here. So you know, brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles, grandparents, anyone that's a family member of one of the graduates. Could you please stand and join the parents? Okay, we've got, we've got quite a few of the, quite a few in the room standing now. Now we've got another group we need to recognize too, and that's the teachers who helped you get here. And that means the teachers at the school, but it also means anyone who coached these these kids in, in, you know, whether it be sports or dance or music or, or arts or anything else that they've done in terms of activities. If you've coached 
We're taught these kids, please stand as well. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Okay, give them a big round of applause. So if you take a look around, you can see this room is almost entirely standing. And there's a reason for that. Because those, those are the people that have been standing behind you all along the way. And they're the people that will be standing along behind you as you go through the rest of your lives as well. So once more, to, once more, let's give them all a huge round of applause and thank you. And you can be seated now. So that's something really important to remember. You know, and, and when you... When you go on next year, whatever it is you're going to do next year, uh, whether it be going off to post-secondary education right away, whether it be working, going into full-time work, gap year of travel, whatever it might be, you know, you're going to, you're going to uh, leave home. Now, some of you I know will probably still be at home in your parents' basement, and your parents are going to say, get the heck out, like, it's time to go, right? But when you do go, whenever that is, if it is right away willingly or maybe in a few years when they, when they decide it's time, they're, they're going to kick you out of the basement. Whenever it is, they're going to miss you when you're gone. So take a little time every once in a while to get home as often as possible, in fact, and, and, and visit your parents. And, and uh, you know, they're going to really miss you. And, uh, and so go home. Don't just go back when it's time to do your laundry or when you need to borrow some money. Show up every once in a while for, you know, Sunday dinner or whatever the case might be and, and spend some time with your parents, okay? Please do that for me. Something that I probably didn't do enough when I was your age and I wished I would have. So, so please, uh, please do that for me so you don't look back later and wish you had. And I'm just going to give you a couple of small pieces of advice today. Um, and, uh, and the first one is this. Fortune favors the bold. So don't be afraid to make mistakes. Don't be afraid to take some chances. I mean, there's good chances and there's bad chances. Don't do stupid stuff. But, but it's okay to try some things. It's okay to make some mistakes. It's okay to have some failures. Because those are all things that you learn from, which lead to success later on. And, you know, when I think about that, um, there's certainly a couple of different people that come to mind. Is there any basketball players from this group? There's got to be some basketball players, right? Come on, give your, put your hands up. I see a couple of you here anyway. And there's a few more I know out there that aren't putting their hands up. But um, when you think about one of the greatest, if not the greatest basketball player of all time, Michael Jordan's name comes to mind for most people immediately. And he was cut from his high school basketball team his first year. But did he take that as a sign he couldn't succeed? No, certainly, obviously not. And look at how, uh, how well that went for him as he, as he persevered through, through that experience. And another example, how many hockey players? Any hockey players in the group today? Okay, a few of those as well. Martin Brodeur, that name ring a bell to any of you? He's known as one of the best goalies, if not the best goalie of all time. He was cut from, from his midget double-A hockey team. And he went on to have some, some Stanley Cup wins and some pr a pretty successful career. And then I'll use one from politics as well. John Diefenbaker. Recognize that name? We're just checking to make sure you were paying attention in social studies. So the teachers, I think it looks like, I kind of saw some nodding the heads, it looks like you've done your job, it looks like they were paying attention. So John Diefenbaker, former Prime Minister of Canada. But did you know that before he became Prime Minister of Canada, he, he lost five elections before he was ever successful in winning an election. He lost five times and he kept coming back for more. And eventually, of course, he became a member of parliament. And then he ran twice unsuccessfully to be the leader of his party before on the third try, finally succeeding and then eventually becoming prime minister. So there's another great example of someone who said, I'm not going to let a little bit of disappointment and a little bit of failure get in the way of my future success. So just remember that. And the other piece I wanted to give you, which is really along the same lines, but it's this. Remember that there's footprints on the moon. Someone has to be the first to blaze the trail, right? So don't ever let someone tell you, just because it's never been done before, that it can't be done. If you have something that you believe in and you know it can be accomplished, don't be afraid to just be the one that blazes that trail. Be the one that makes those footprints on the moon for the very first time. And the last thing I wanted to, 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 to give you in terms of advice is this. Put the value of doing the right thing ahead of doing the thing 
right. So in other words, always try to do the right thing. Always try to show integrity. You know, that, that, means, that means doing the right thing, even, like it's not just when you're up on a stage or when you're in class where you're, you, know, you know you're being you know, judged on your performance. It means doing the right thing even when you think nobody is watching and nobody will know the difference. Always do the right thing. That's what it means to show integrity. And I really believe that those who are successful in life are those with the most integrity. And, you know, that's what it takes to be successful. It doesn't matter if it's in school, if it's in a, 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 any job or any career, in any relationship. Integrity is so critical. You, it takes a long time to build trust, but you can lose that trust in just an instant. So never waver from, from your values and your beliefs and, and from your integrity. And I'm going to close with this. Any country music fans, grads? few of those too. Yeah, I wasn't really a big country music fan when I was in high school, but it, it, it grew on me later on. And there's a lot of wisdom, I think, in a country music song. And I'm going to share with you some words from one that I, that I think it has some particularly wise words in it. I hope you never fear those mountains in the distance. Never settle for the path of least resistance. Living might mean taking chances, but they're worth taking. Give the heavens above more than just a passing glance. And when you get the choice to sit it out or dance, I hope you dance. And I really think that says it perfectly. When you have a choice to sit it out or to dance, I hope you'll always choose to dance. You know, whether that be marching to your own beat, whether that be dancing to someone else's tune, whatever the case might be, make sure you always choose to step in there and do it. You know, because I think really there are two types of people in, in life. There's, there's those who sit back and say it can't be done. And then there's those who just go and do it. So be those doers. Be the people who just jump in and do it, okay? Because that's what it will take to be successful. And so congratulations, graduates, and best of luck in your future. Thank you, Mr. Richards. We would now like to welcome Airdrie Mayor Peter Brown on behalf of Mayor Peter Brown and the City of Airdrie. First of all, may I say, you all look marvelous. You look so good out there. Are you happy to be here? Sorry, I didn't hear that one. Oh, so do I. Thank you so much. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Most importantly, our graduates, family and friends, our administrators, our teachers. On behalf of myself and Energy City Council, I'm thrilled to be here to recognize and celebrate with all of you and provide remarks and congratulations to our grads today. So obviously, congratulations to our 2023 Mustangs. We acknowledge the perseverance and the hard work required from you to make it to this stage today. High school, as you know, can be exciting, it can be challenging, and here you are, you did it. Take a deep breath and appreciate your accomplishments. Graduation is not just one day. Graduation is a total of a year's experiences, the friends you've made, the people you've met, the work you've achieved, and the impact you've made and will make on the world. You've gained the knowledge and experience to go out into the world. Some of you have become a doctor, maybe a chef, an engineer, maybe an MP, that knows how to dance, maybe a mayor. I hope I see your, your names on a ballot. But whatever you do, there's nothing, and I mean nothing, you can't accomplish, nothing. We're all so proud of each and every one of you. Each graduate in this room has navigated fun times, overcome adversity, while making lifelong friendships. Graduates, the lessons you've learned over your school career provide a solid foundation which to build on. And you heard that very eloquently stated by Blake. Whether you stay in our city or move on to other places, I believe you will take with you the values that you learned here that you will use to make a difference in the world. I do want to acknowledge our great teachers, staff, and support teams. I have nothing but appreciation and sincere gratitude for the work that you do every day to support our graduates and all of their classmates. I'm certain the graduates would all agree that much 
of their success can be attributed to the works of our great teachers. Oftentimes, teachers are friends, their confidants, and mentors to the students. Thank you for pre preparing these graduates. Teachers go above and beyond to inspire, motivate, and challenge our students. And I'm always in awe of all of their efforts, so I want to sincerely thank all of our teachers and administrators. And you can clap, graduates, if you like. There you go. Thank you. To the parents today, I imagine the pride you must feel seeing your, your graduate on the stage. You've seen firsthand how hard your student has worked and tried over their years. Thank you for walking beside them, for seeing them through each time they needed you, for being there and for being here to celebrate with them today. Each student has, is here because of a collective effort striving for their successes. And to the graduates, remember the people celebrating with you here today. They are your foundation that you can continue to build on. They will stand by you and celebrate your accomplishments and provide support when needed as you embark on the next chapter of your life. My words of wisdom are actually four, so I'm going to share them with you. These are my four. There was many to pick from, but these are my top four. So fearless, lacking fear, brave. Now this does not mean you have to like to skydive or climb Everest or run with the bulls, although those probably sound like fun to some of you in the front row. But if you have a fear of public speaking, if you're uncomfortable in social settings, whatever your fear, identify it, face it, and overcome it. And I can tell you firsthand, it'll make you a better person. Always face your fears. Blake touched on integrity. The quality of being honest and having a strong moral principles, moral uprightness. This is a word that's used much. It's also key to all future successes in my mind. The people I've met over my lifetime that have integrity are the ones that had the most impact on myself and the people around them. Always be true to yourself. This word wasn't even in the top 20 on the internet, so this is my word, and it's a great word. It's called resilient. Able to withstand or recover quickly from difficult conditions. I know many of you understand resiliency. It's such an amazing word. Whatever you face in the future, good or bad, please know there is nothing, and I mean nothing, nothing you can't overcome. Always be resilient and make sure to reach out if you need help or support. It'll always be there, especially from the people that you trust and love you. And the last one is kindness, the quality of being friendly, generous, and considerate. What you give back to the world, in my opinion, is what you get back. The value of being kind is immeasurable, and believe me when I say the act of kind encourages the recipients of your kindness to do and be the same. There's no, no downside to being kind. So in closing, I say this to all the graduates, whether you choose university, time off, travel, hanging out in your parents' basement, as Blake said, I hope you'll consider coming back to Airdrie, buy a home pay taxes, which I really like, S start a family, build a business, more taxes, I really appreciate that, creating opportunities for others. I'm sure everyone in this room, everyone will tell you that our community is better off with all of you in it. So with that, I wish you all nothing but great health and happiness in all your future endeavors. Awesome job, graduates. Mustangs 2023, well done. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Brown. May I now ask Mr. Fred Burley, one of our Airdrie School Board Trustees, to bring greetings on behalf of the Rocky View Schools Board of Trustees. I was going to try this step, but with these knees, that's not an option. <laughs> so, good afternoon, graduates, parents, teachers, family, and friends. Thank you for being here today, and on behalf of Rocky View Schools, I am pleased to bring congratulations and warm wishes from the Board of Trustees. I would like to begin by thanking all the graduates for their hard work and continuous effort 
throughout the years. I'm always proud to see the students develop into engaged citizens who are ready to make the world a better place. There's a quote from Winston Churchill. We make a living by what we get. We make a life by what we give. And you, folk, you graduates embody that quote. You give back to the community. Graduation is a time to reflect on the hard work it took and the dedication to get here today. The experiences you've gone through have shaped who you've become and where you will go in the future. The great thing about life is it's, that it's your journey and it's unique to you and how you see the world. No one can take the experiences and knowledge you have gained away from you. We have the power to visualize what we want in life and go after our passions. There's a saying, if you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. Find your passion and go for it. For the teachers, thank you for the important work you do. You have helped these students open their eyes to all that life has to offer. Your dedication encouraged them to become amazing people and the difference you have made in their lives will stay with them forever. To the graduating class of 2023, I hope you feel proud. You did it. As you enter a new chapter in life, remember you have the strength inside of you to do great things. Whatever life, wherever life takes you, I wish you all the best. Remember, the world is full of opportunities, so I encourage you to keep your eyes open for new experiences and do the things you love. You can set your high sights as high as you want, and the possibilities of the future are endless. To the parents, families, and friends, thank you for your ongoing support. Your constant encouragement to these young adults makes a big difference, and they are adults. You gave love and support during all the ups and downs that comes with high school. Enjoy the movement, moment and feel proud. Now, last up, I just want to say congratulations, and I want to thank you for the honor of being here today to talk to you. Thank you, Mr. Burley. On behalf of Rocky View Schools, we would like to welcome Mr. Murray Bazinski, Associate Superintendent of Schools for Airdrie to the stage. Good afternoon. Graduates, honored guests, teachers and staff, parents, grandparents, family and friends, of the George McDougal High School graduating class of 2023. It is my pleasure to bring greetings and congratulations on behalf of the 3,000 Rocky View School Division staff members. As we gather to celebrate the achievements of these remarkable young men and women who have worked tirelessly to reach this important milestone in your lives. To the graduates, you should be immensely proud of yourselves. You have shown determination, resilience, and perseverance in the face of challenges. Remember COVID. And you have emerged as strong and capable individuals ready to take on the world. Your hard work and dedication have paid off, and you're now equipped with the skills and knowledge to pursue your passions and make a difference in the world. To the parents of the graduates, I want to express gratitude and admiration for your unwavering support and, and encouragement. Your love and guidance have made, have been instrumental in, in, in shaping these young minds and nurturing their talents. Today, we celebrate not only their achievements, but also the contributions of their families and their loved ones. To the staff, I want to extend my heartfelt thank you for your dedication and commitment to educating and inspiring these young minds. Your tireless efforts have helped shape the lives of these graduates and prepared them for all the challenges that lie ahead. As you celebrate this momentous occasion, please do not forget the values and lessons that you've learned during your time in high school. Carry with you the knowledge, skills, and values that will help you succeed in the future endeavors. Always remember what lies behind us and what lies before us are small matters compared to what lies within us. I congratulate you on your success Wish you continued success in your future. Enjoy your celebration this weekend. You've earned it. Thank you, Mr. Bazinski. At this time, please welcome George McDougall Principal, Mr. Scott Bloxham, to give his principal's address.
fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Now, many of you, before I even look at the script here, many of you recognize that often when I speak to, at assemblies, pep rallies, I just speak from the heart. And today, for the first time ever, I wrote from my heart. And I actually have a script, and I'm going to attempt to follow it. Yeah, I know. So here we go. Good evening, esteemed guests, faculty members, proud families, and the extraordinary graduating class of 2023. As your principal, I am honored to be able to address you this evening. Today, as we gather to honor your accomplishments, I'm struck by the beautiful harmony that emerges when we consider your graduating theme of live, laugh, love. <laughs> you laugh because I'm not entirely sure how much effort you put into that theme. <laughs> but I have decided to put the effort into it for you. So these powerful words intertwine to create a tapestry that embodies the essence of your high school journey and the remarkable individuals you have become. Live encourages us to embrace every moment and seize the opportunities that come our way. It reminds us to live authentically with passion and purpose. Throughout your time at George McDougall High School, you have embraced this concept wholeheartedly. You have lived with enthusiasm, embraced new experiences, pursuing your dreams and making the most of the precious time you have spent with friends, mentors, and loved ones. Laugh reminds us of the importance of finding joy and happiness, even in the face of challenges. Laughter is a powerful medicine that brings people together, lightens the heart, and creates lasting memories. Your class has shared countless, countless moments of laughter creating bonds that will endure beyond your time here. Through your laughter, you have built a supportive and uplifting community, reminding us all of the power of shared experiences and genuine connections. And finally, love. Love encompasses the compassion, empathy, and care that you have shown towards one another and the world around you. Love is a driving force that can bring about transformative change. Love and your class has exemplified this spirit of love through acts of kindness, inclusivity, and support. You have reached out to those in need, championed important causes, and fostered a sense of belonging within our school community. Your love has created a positive ripple effect, leaving a lasting impact on individuals and community as a whole. As you embark on the next chapter of your lives, I want you to consider three other words, change, compassion, and courage. These words represent my message to you. Embrace the changes that lie ahead, because they're coming. Know that they are opportunities for growth and discovery. Approach others with compassion. Extend kindness and understanding to all that you encounter and summon the courage within you to navigate the challenges that may arise, knowing that you possess the strength and resilience to overcome them all. Before I conclude, I would like to take a moment to acknowledge the multitude of emotions present in this room today. While we celebrate the achievements of this remarkable class, we understand that for some of us, this joyous occasion may be accompanied by a sense of loss. We recognize that there are families among us who carry the absence of loved ones in their hearts and minds as we celebrate today. So I ask you, all of us, to take a moment to reflect and think of those people. To the remarkable graduating class of 2023, on behalf of the staff of George McDougall High School, your parents, and everybody here, we offer our heartfelt congratulations. Your unique blend of living, laughing, and loving, infused with my values of change, compassion, and courage, 
set you apart. As you venture into the world, may you continue to live with purpose, find joy in the simplest of moments, and spread love and compassion wherever you go. Your journey continues, and I have no doubt that you will leave an indelible mark on the world. Thank you, and congratulations, class of 2023. Mr. Jeff Rasmussen would now like to introduce the class of 2023 valedictorian. Mr. Jeff Rasmussen vous présente la promotion du major du promotion de 2023. I'm so disgustingly sweaty under this thing. It's like dripping down the side. So like, huh, okay. Here we go. Okay. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, honored guests and graduates. Today we gather here to celebrate the remarkable achievements of our graduating class as they move into the next important era of their lives. It is my distinct pleasure to introduce you Kennedy Brown, a truly exceptional individual who best represents the graduating class of 2023. <laughs> oh, this way, just way. I'm just getting started. Okay. <laughs> I've only known Kennedy for a short amount of time, but it didn't take me long to realize that Kennedy isn't just a good student, but an extraordinary person. For Kennedy, school is about being involved in making the very best of the four years that she was here. School isn't something that Kennedy breezed through. She put in time and effort to be successful. Her high marks are the result of rewritten notes, cue cards, study guides, and multiple questions to the teachers. Her dedication to be successful involves hard work and effort not simply getting by. From the very beginning, she's been involved in the very fabric of George McDougall School. She's been in school council, leadership, is our voice for the morning announcements, represents the school for blood drives, was involved in building futures, has been on sports teams, has participated in her own ride of the Mustangs. Anything that this school has done, Kennedy has shown up with a smile on her face and a willingness to participate. Beyond the classroom, Kennedy has been active in the community, from tutoring students at the elementary school, volunteering at Cedarwood Station, at the Airdrie Festival of Lights, and more. Impossibly, Kennedy also finds the time to coach kids at Genesis, spends time with her family and her brother Colt, sings in the church choir, and punches people in the face in the boxing ring. You're probably wondering how Kennedy has managed to find balance for it all. But to those that know her, this isn't a surprise. Her kindness, compassion, dedication, and resilience are all qualities that we hold true as Mustangs and Kennedy demonstrates them every single day. So without further ado, it is with great admiration that I present to you our valedictorian, Kennedy Brown. graduating students of 2023. I am so incredibly privileged to be standing up here today in front of you all. My name is Kennedy Brown. I am a daughter, a sister, an athlete. I am a leader, a volunteer, and lastly, I'm a student. I would like to say thank you to my mom and dad and to my siblings, Anna and Colt, for encouraging me to never give up. Thank you for your support, love, and encouragement for the 12 years of my education. I could not be here without you. Right now, I feel so incredibly lucky to be in a room full of this many people. I know you guys may be like, really? You are excited to have this many people in one graduating class? That is a ridiculous amount of students, which is totally fair. But there was a time when it felt like we would never be able to breathe the same air as one another 
or stand within six feet of each other. So yes, I am lucky to be in a room with this many people. I am filled with joy to see your smiling faces. It feels like yesterday when the 2020 graduating class had their ceremony online. And here we are now, able to celebrate together as a class with all of our loved ones. I have thought long and hard about what to say today. I could lie and say that high school was the best four years of my life. Some of it was fantastic, yes, but it was hard and it was really tiring. And I think we all wanted to give up so many times. We often put ourselves through mentally exhausting cycles, going to bed late, studying till 1 a.m., waking up at seven, going to school all day, barely having enough time in one day to eat, going to work or sports or piano or singing or babysitting or going home and doing more homework and then repeating the cycle. I am proud of myself and I am proud of every single student sitting in this crowd. I am proud of you for not stopping. I am proud of you for trying even during some of your darkest days. I am proud of you for showing up and I am proud of you for picking yourself back up when it felt like you were alone. I am proud of you for making it here. I wish I could thank every teacher who has impacted my life and all the lives of my fellow graduates, but the list would honestly be way too long. I could thank several teachers from elementary school for teaching us multiplication songs and how to tie our shoes. I could thank some of our middle school teachers for teaching us to appreciate ourselves and to stand up when things aren't right. I could thank several of our high school teachers for showing empathy and support in and out of the classroom. To the teachers who treated us not just as part of your job or as a student, but as a friend, thank you. Thank you to teachers and other educational staff in this school who made it their goal to show students that they care about us. Thank you office staff, library staff, and custodians. We see you too, and we thank you. I am very grateful to have received my education in a division that honors diverse learners by, by providing programs like Building Futures, The Farm, Global, and Rocky View Leadership Academy. I would specifically like to thank Coleman Massey, Laura Burt, Travis Jones, and Lauren Curry for teaching me what unique learning is truly about. The majority of us entered as scared grade nines into the halls of George Mack. Little did we know that by the middle of that year, we would all be learning from home on the dreaded Zoom. We thought grade 10 would be better because we were back in the class, but then at home on Zoom, and then back in the class, and then at home on Zoom, and the cycle continued. Finally, in grade 11, we got to be normal students. Some of us went to Building Futures, some joined the farm program, some spent a year online, but regardless of our choice of learning, we are all here to celebrate the completion of 12 years of education. Class of 2023, some of us have spent more time together than with our own families. And if there is one thing that I know for sure is that time goes by faster than we even realize. All of the small little moments that we thought would last forever disappeared in an instant. I remember when we were learning the One Green Jelly Bean song in kindergarten and watching the magic school bus in grade two. Remember playing with Beyblades, the Polar Express Christmas concert, and learning long division. Then there were the middle school dances and candy bags sold at the snack shack every Friday. Then the bottle flipping. We were getting so good at that before our teachers banned it from the classrooms. And when our grade eight graduation felt like the most significant moment. Remember walking into George Mack for the first time and being convinced by the grade 12s that there was a pool in the basement. These little things like silly bands, hot wheels, maple syrup on a stick, Skechers shoes, scaredy squirrel, building snowmen, the Terry Fox run, the beep test, playing schlag ball, fire drills, grounders, musically, the seven habits of happy kids. 
Bill Nye, Papa's Freezeria, Just Dance, watching Bluey in Mr. D's math class, seeing Mr. McLean and Mr. Harris get their legs waxed at Ride of the Mustang, pep rallies, football games, and so much more. All of these little things tie us together with an invisible string that you may not even see. We grew up together, we changed, we learned, we loved, we cried, we stressed a lot, but we made it. Look around you. Notice the people in this room. Notice the ones who are not with us. I would like to acknowledge that there are members missing. Loved ones, friends, parents, and two members of our graduating class. Two members of our graduating class had their lives taken from them too soon. We all wish they were here with us today in the crowd with a cap and gown ready to walk the stage. The memories we have of our friends and loved ones will stick with us forever. The members of our graduating class will always be Mustangs. As we grow up and move on into life, their memories will follow us. We will always remember them and be thankful for the times that we had with them. I just would like to say one last thing. When you leave here today, who are you going to be? I'm not talking about your career. I am not talking about your future plans or where you are going to post-secondary. I am talking about who you really are. You have the power to choose to be whoever you want. Many of us don't really know how to answer that question, who am I? As we leave the safe halls of George Mack, I encourage you to dig deep and to discover your truest values. Are you going to choose to love, to accept, to be courageous, to try new things? Are you going to embrace the uniqueness of the world and stand up for those who have no one to advocate for them? And most importantly, are you going to be true to yourself? Dorothy Carlson, one of my former leadership teachers, once told me that you are not defined by anything, not a career, not a choice. She taught me that your you is the way you live, the way you love, and the way you laugh. It is how you treat others and what you contribute to this world that is really important. At the end of the day, Whatever you do after high school does not make you better or worse. Whether or not you are a doctor or a chef or a dancer or a nanny, it doesn't matter. Success is not defined by a career or an education. Whatever preconceived ideas you have about success, get rid of them because this is your life. Be thankful that you are alive because these little moments of time will eventually fade. The string that ties us together will eventually get old and weak. Don't take your life for granted, and don't take your memories for granted. I am proud of all of you for making it here. Your life holds so much greatness. Thank you, and congratulations, graduating class of 2023. Thank you, Kennedy, for those inspiring and thoughtful words. Merci, Kennedy, pour ces mots inspirants et réfléchis. I would like to now invite Mr. Scott Bloxham back to the stage to present the valedictorian gift. Kennedy, that was fantastic. Thank you so much for representing your graduating class so well. Small token of appreciation. Good job.
Before our graduates walk the stage, we have an important message for parents and family members. Edge Imaging is graciously donating their time to take a professional photo of your graduate receiving their diploma. Please remain seated and allow the photographers to do their job. Thank you for allowing them to professionally capture this moment. Without further ado, I'd like our administration, I would like to, sorry. Without further ado, I would like our administration team, Mr. Johnston, Ms. Brown, Mr. Blo and Mr. Bloxham to come to the stage for the presentation to our graduates. Riley Leith Affleck, French Immersion. Caden <laughs> Avery Allen. Julia Nareda Alonzo, French Immersion. Diego Josue Aragon Diaz. Tristan Kale Archibald, Honorable Mention. <laughs> Darian Raymond Merle Armsworthy, Honorable Mention. Jade Alice Jean Bailey. Braden Douglas Beret. Charlotte Maria Kyle Bergen, Honor Roll, French Immersion. <laughs> Ethan Edwin Alexander Ber Berquist. <laughs> Marissa Lynn Blaney, Honor Roll. Sorry, Liam Aiden James Bjorn Dalen, French Immersion. Awesome. Oliver James Blumel, Honorable Mention. Kirk. Pat 
Patrick Bolton, Jr. Michaela Torres Bondock, Honor Roll. Deborah Lee Bostock. Olivia Tessa Jane Broughton, Honor Roll. Madison Jade Wizu Broussard, Honor Roll, French Immersion. Kennedy Nicole Brown, Honor Roll. <laughs> Nate Brown. Burnett, honor roll. <laughs> Nicholas James Burnett, honorable mention. <laughs> Justin James Daniel Campbell. Megan Caron, Honor Roll, French Immersion. <laughs> Rachel Karen Diane Carroll, Honor Roll. Jaden Leanne Chalmers, Honor Roll. <laughs> Afraz Mustafa Chima. <laughs> Isaac Korkwe. Bryce Cologne. Connor Sean Caldwell, French Immersion. Danny Riley Cooper. <laughs> Evan Creek, honor roll. Lana Rose Crossan, honorable mention. 
attention. Jacob Bradley Curtis. Elizabeth Dale. <laughs> Elliot Brendan Dalton, honor roll. <laughs> Nolan Zachary Dancero, French immersion. box honor roll French immersion <laughs> Jason William de Clerk Ryan Ronald Joseph Delisle. Uh -huh. Hudson David Davies. I'm sorry, Hudson. <laughs> <laughs> Parker Julian Dennis. John Connor Darwin. <laughs> Catherine De Roche, honorable mention, French immersion. Jared Alexander Didick. <laughs> Kenny Din. <laughs> Trinity Emily Dawn Doucette. Southwaite. <laughs> Allison Drapeau. <laughs> Eric Morgan Dunford. Honorable mention, French Immersion. <laughs> Tamia Chantel English, Honorable mention, French Immersion. <laughs> Elizabeth.
Alyssa, Ashley, Marilla, and Tella, honor roll. Montana Lee Erickson. Drayden Daniel Este. <laughs> Cole Stephen Iwashin. French immersion. <laughs> Dinah Marie Ferguson. John William Filipenko. Raina Momji Fisher, honor roll. Kasima Jamila Folks. <laughs> Connor James Isaac Fowler, honor roll. Emma Ray Francis. <laughs> French immersion. Ashley Crystal Joanne Gagne, French immersion. <laughs> Madison Lynn. Gagno, honor roll. <laughs> Caleb Gatke. <laughs> Grace Ann Geisel, French immersion. James Gidluck, honorable mention. <laughs> Diljot Singh Gill. Has 
Nasret Gill. Emma Ray Girard, French Immersion. Silas Russell James Glaspie. Jordan Emily Godfrey. Oslo Green. Owen Gordon Hansen, honor roll. Aisha McLaren Hardy, honor roll. Haley Marie Harms, honor roll, French immersion. Jonathan Harvey, honor roll, French immersion. Morgan Daniel Hawkins. Shalai Mabel Jean Hickerson. Yeah. Aubrey Hodder. Sadie Kate Huck Claire Elise Janae Honor Roll French Immersion Nathan Jarvanen, honor roll. Jack Clayton Johnson. Benny Adele Cabano, honor roll, French immersion. Kennedy Taylor Carpala, honor roll. Dane Theron Carvenen Baker, honorable mention, French immersion. Jack Aiden Carvin and Baker, French Immersion. <laughs> Phoenix Rain Collar.
Alexandra Kennedy. Tariq Allen Khan. Amy May Kimmler, French Immersion. Riley Beth LeBay. Emma Akalina Lake. Peyton Avery Lange Honor Roll. Sawyer Rain Langner Honorable Mention. Evan Matthew Larson. Robert John Laspinick, honor roll. Ethan Brody Lloyd. Sam Lysak. Oh. Nevea Long. Kira Cassidy McDonald, honor roll. Kennedy Dallas Mack. Tyler Ian Manchalenko, honor roll. <laughs> Loris Ann Grab Martin. <laughs> Christina Jane Matson, honorable mention, French immersion. Brianna Isabel McCallum. <laughs> Kira Mary Gail McCarthy, honor roll. McLean, honor roll. Hayden Leanne McKelvey. Wyatt Dakota Neal McKinnon. Elijah James Mickelson. <laughs> e 
Emmanuel Unromo Mohimi, French Immersion. McKenna Grace Morrison Ripley, Honor Roll, French Immersion. Eva Danielle Murphy, Honor Roll. Ivy Sage Murphy, Honor Roll, French Immersion. Gavin John Andrew Mitron. <laughs> Isaiah Michael Douglas Nielsen, French Immersion. <laughs> Abby Ryan Neville, French Immersion. Elizabeth Nielsen, French Immersion. Victoria Nikolova, Honor Roll, French Immersion. Hannah Leanne Northwood, French Immersion. Olivito. <laughs> Niall Rustin Carroll Ori. Victoria Osenda, honorable mention. Nicholas Anthony Page, honor roll. Michaela Alyssa Page, Honorable Mention. Landon Daniel Pappas. Breda Marie Patterson, Honor Roll, French Immersion. Justin Mitchell Peterson Audrey Maya Popovich Honorable Mention French Immersion Krosnick, honor roll.
Hannah Marie Pugh. Rory Purvis Honor Roll. Tiana Michelle Reimer, Honorable Mention. Danielle Raypenko, Honor Roll. Ava Christine Rietveld, Honor Roll, French Immersion. <laughs> Noah Bray Rogers, French Immersion. <laughs> Caden James Rowe, French Immersion. Madison Rostolka. <laughs> Logan Richard Thomas Sanderson, Honor Roll. <laughs> Gavin Noble Savoy. Shell, honorable mention, French immersion. <laughs> Madison Ann Schiffner. <laughs> Cole Montgomery Thomas Schneider. Vanessa Simong. Christopher Jimin Saw. Micah Benjamin Sewell. Honorable mention. <laughs> Rama Shafi. <laughs> Nirvana Rain Seaver, honorable, or sorry, honor roll. Jocelyn Smith. <laughs> Megan Michelle Smith. <laughs> Megan Michelle Smith, honor roll. French Immersion. Perfect. 
Tylee Lane Smith. Amelia Smolinski. Ferna Scholl Solomon, honorable mention, French immersion. Isabella Janae Stothart, honor roll, French immersion. Cameron Charles Strilchuk. French immersion. Olivia Margaret Swain, honorable mention, French immersion. Dunster Tattersall. Xander Davis Teasdale, honor roll. Carter Jeffrey Thomas, French Immersion. Sierra Dawn Thompson, Honor Roll. Isabella Flor Torres. Alexander James Toy, honorable mention. Gabby Chupruk, honorable mention. Michael Robert Turcott. Maya Marie Mylan Ung. Cassandra Alice Valencourt. Shane Alice Ward. White, honor roll, French immersion. Lachlan Wayne White, honor roll, French immersion. Benjamin James Wigglesworth, honor roll. Tyra Della Dawn Willie. <laughs> Abby Rebecca Rachel Wozniak Newton.
Jack Michael Scott Reggett, Honorable Mention. Jesse Seneca. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, at this time, I will be presenting several awards and scholarships that are based on academics, leadership, service, and Indigenous student recognition. First, I'd like for Mr. Lafferty to come up on stage. I will begin by celebrating and highlighting our honored Indigenous graduates by having Mr. Lafferty present a smudged pouch on behalf of RVS Indigenous Learning Branch. Smudge is a cleansing ceremony practiced among many Indigenous groups across Turtle Island. It is commonly believed that the smoke from the burning sacred plants, such as tobacco, sage, sweet grass, and cedar has cleansing or purifying properties for the spirit. In honor of the past and recognition of the future, we would like to invite the following graduates forward to receive their pouch and to celebrate their accomplishments. Congratulations to the following students. You may all come together. Shaylee Hickerson, Deborah Bostock, Breda Patterson, and Suki Stribblehill. Oh. And I would like for Jamie to come up and accept for Montana. Okay, so now what uh, I will do, I will, I will get into the awards, um, basically for leadership and service as well as academics. So the first award that I'm going to be announcing tonight is the Knights of Columbus Humanitarian Award, sponsored by the Knights of Columbus, and this award is for $300. Um, it is awarded to the student who show exceptional leadership, humanitarianism, and a dedication to social issues while demonstrating outstanding service to the broader community. And the recipient of this award tonight is Kiera MacDonald. Thank you. The next award, sponsored by Airdrie Eye Care, it is Airdrie Eye Care Science and Technology Scholarship, valued at $250. This award is presented to the student that has a passion for communications technology courses like robotics, coding, and computer science 
and thrived in these classes throughout high school. The student has an interest in pursuing a career in this field. And the recipient of this award is Michaela Page. Thank you. The next two awards sponsored by Edge Imaging, which is the photography company that is here tonight. Um, so they have sponsored, the first award is the Apprenticeship Award. It is valued at $500. Awarded to the student who has shown great determination in meeting challenges and maximizing his or her strengths. The student may also have improved their achievements in academics and will be pursuing a career in the trades. And the recipient of this award is Liam Bjorn Dalen. And the next award by Edge is the Digital Editing and Film Scholarship valued at $500. This award goes to the student who shows extraordinary talent in a film and video arts form and demonstrates clear educational or training goals in this field beyond high school. And the recipient of this award is McKenna Ripley Morrison. Thank you. The next award sponsored by Airdrie Registries, it is the Humanity Scholarship, valued at $250. It is awarded to the student who has excelled in the humanities, including social studies, ELA, and modern languages. This award is based on academic achievement and has demonstrated interest in a post-secondary field focused on social sciences. And the recipient of this award is Isabella Stothart. sponsored by GMHS. It is the Principal's Perseverance Award. Um, we are going to pre be presenting three students with this award valued at $250 each. The award goes to the student who has persevered through their high school years, overcoming challenges and obstacles while maintain maintaining an academic focus and thriving in their grade 12 year. The recipients of this award, and all three of you may come up together, Danielle Rapenko, Deborah Bostock, and Aubrey Hodder. The next award is the Chris Hargreaves Memorial Scholarship, valued at $250. It is sponsored by Vitreous Glass Incorporated. This award goes to the graduate who supports and models the goals of George McDougall High School and Airdrie. Their key focus is success, success through effort, which is our motto. Hardworking and independent achieves a high level of success and values personal achievement. And the recipient of this award is Tyler Manchelenko.
Thank you. The next award, the Tim Jackson Memorial, sponsored by the City of Airdrie. It is awarded to the students who have made outstanding service contributions. They are actively involved in organizing or working at community events and school activities. They model respect, courtesy, and incredible empathy of others. And the recipient of this award is Rory Purvis. Registries, I'll do that. Okay, the next award is the Airdrie Registries Fine Arts Scholarship. It is valued at $250 and again sponsored by Airdrie Registries. It is awarded to a student that has shared their talents with the greater community. They have demonstrated hard work dedication, and a passion for their craft. Categories include band, choral, drama, literary, and the visual arts. And the recipient of this award is Gabby Chuprek. The next award is sponsored by Airdrie Eye Care. It is the Airdrie Eye Care Schulich STEM Scholarship, valued at $250. The Schulich Leader Scholarships Program recognizes students across Canada who demonstrate excellence in academics and community leadership and plan to study in a STEM program, that being science, technology, engineering, mathematics. Schulich Leader Scholarships were created by Canadian business leader and philanthropist Seymour Schulich. Each year, schools across Canada will nominate one student for this scholarship. This year's student is well deserving of the honour of Schulich Leader nominee, and it goes to Madison Gagnon. And our final award of the night is known as the Spirit of Youth Award, valued at $500. It is sponsored by GM GMHS. This award reflects the contributions Constable Dave Henry made to the George McDougal High School community. Constable Henry re received the very first award. This is going to the graduate who exemplifies youth engagement through excellence, positivity, leadership, and citizenship. And the recipient of tonight's award is Kennedy Brown. Congratulations again to all our award recipients and to all the graduates of 2023. Before I turn the stage back to our wonderful MCs, I would like to thank Caleb and Brittany um, in continuing with the tradition of future graduates emceeing this event, they have done a remarkable job. And I would just like to take a moment to thank our very generous award sponsors, and you can see a list of the sponsors on our program. Thank you so much. Who 
pouvons encore une fois applaudir la promotion de 2023. Can we please have one more round of applause for the graduating class of 2023? All that's left now are a few housekeeping items. Following the recessional, Graduates will exit to the staging area. Please remain seated until all the graduates have completed the recessional. There will be an opportunity for photos once the recessional is complete. And now, we'd like to invite back George McDougal Principal, Mr. Scott Bloxham. All right, this is it. This is the moment. Grads, please stand up. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce to you the graduating class of 2023.